the age of the cyborg is here. Elon Musk bringing in an unprecedented age of what could be a Terminator scenario. <laughs> oh, this chip. Oh, I mean, everything's fine and will be great. More after these messages. Today's video has been brought to you by the generous patrons of the games who make continued content on the games possible. The games patrons enjoy monthly giveaways like Steam gift cards, Star Citizen packages, and any game that you want giveaways. Please consider donating just $1 if in any way you enjoy the game's content. Thank you. First off, Elon Musk is revolutionary. Yes, he only gets about two hours of sleep a day, which makes him even more crazy. And sometimes I think that that lack of sleep could lead to like bipolar personalities or, you know, some type of mental health issues that we're getting into. But he is definitely in the forefront of bringing in change. You cannot disagree with that statement. Elon Musk bringing in electric cars, um, you know, crazy ass flamethrowers and, you know, technologies which are boring tunnels under the earth and making transportation faster. And let's not forget SpaceX and all these crazy amazing new ideas that he is literally pushing to the forefront with his mind so it only makes sense that I see this article about Neuralink here you have what the new N1 sensor is going to look like they've modified it since the, the beginning of this project into a very small sensor uh, that literally will go into the back of your head that they will basically make a small incision drill a hole through the skull and then with a robot uh, surgery implant this into your brain the small fibers coming off of them being actually pinned to different portions with a robot of your brain avoiding blood vessels and any kind of bleeding and they will be attached to the sections of the brain responsible for speech sections of motor function take data directly from the brain analyze the data read the data see where the problems are and it's a read write process to help people regain motor function to help people regain speech this is quite revolutionary and i can see this going into other areas in the future upgrading upon this technology helping with vision helping with all the senses that the brain is responsible for it's quite amazing but there's also a very scary aspect to this there's there's that kind of terminator skylink feel to this thinking about the morality of this and you know i know that elon was on joe rogan yes we all know he smoked doobie on joe rogan's podcast <laughs> but we also know that he was afraid of ai taking over so i thought this was a definitely an interesting direction that he was going in where he's like okay instead of them taking us over let's just merge with it if we merge with it we have a better chance as humanity to survive with it i'm pretty sure that's my opinion but i i personally feel like that's what elon musk is thinking he's like okay so instead of being annihilated by AI or the potential of it let's merge with it because if we merge with it we're going to have less of an issue against AI if it decides to go rogue on us which I think is where he's going with it but at the same time I'm thinking to myself like this could have serious repercussions <laughs> you know like if you're feeling some certain way eventually this technology will get to the point where it might change our thought process it, it might chemically uh, cause a, a neurochemical reaction that will change our experience as a human as as our own interactions like are they genuine anymore if they're implanted into our head and we're receiving data that's making us change our actual our actions by themselves do we become the borg we are borg like from star trek i mean i totally got this john luke picard borg vibe going off of this and there's there's this warning bell that i'm getting also so while i'm happy that it will help people who have very very serious physical issues i'm also concerned about the the moral impl uh, implications of of this chip and where it could take us it could be the very impetus of us changing into the borg <laughs> you know i i see where we're going as 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 a species and i understand where elon musk is saying we're no different than cyborgs now with these phones because we're always attached to these phones you can see here they're showing the process uh that they're going to involve you know imp implementation implanting this chip right into the back of our skulls like i was talking about earlier but like this is kind of like both very fascinating and very scary to me 
So when we lose our phones, we, we freak out, right? So now with the chips in our head, we'll never have to worry because we'll be always connected uh, to our devices and connected to something much larger, which is scary that we can be tracked. That, that now with this, depending upon who the puppet master is, the person in charge, what their um, actual uh, morals are and what their intentions are is kind of how we are guided and below like a pyramid of sorts like so whoever's controlling the very top of the pyramid could actually corrupt it and make it so that this uh Neuralink is a controlling kind of slave chip in a way i you know this is this is obviously speculation but this is these are the concerns i have with something like this that we're hooking directly into this is this a good thing i would love to hear what you have to say your comments below but to me it, it's like i said it's <laughs> It's both fascinating and scary. You know, all the different technological hurdles that we can overcome, you know, direct interface with computers, uh, being able to make selections without having to tap anything, eventually getting to the point where we can make calls or, or communicate to people just by thought process. It's fascinating. Like all these things, very fascinating. But the fact that we have something implanted that could actually change the way in which we think and act scares the shit out of me. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I would love to see what you guys have to say here. We can see actually the chip recording our firing, our, our, our neurons, our synapses, the spikes that we have and this information they can literally read. At one point, they'll be able to manipulate it. You know, they can't now, but I would imagine that they will be able to manipulate it to help people who have speech problems that have these motor function issues so that they once again can talk correctly so that they can move again. And that is, you know, on a medical scale, just leaps and bounds of where we're at currently and is encouraging and is positive that they can help people with these issues. But on the other side of the coin, it can be quite scary. And so let me know what you guys think. I thought this was newsworthy. So I put it on the channel and I will see you on the next vid.